In all of us, there is a small part that will always be the same. The gifts we've been given are what define us, and always will. Looks inside to Eric, who gets it against Nuba. Takes the ball close to the best, tries to come back to him. Now he's fouled, he goes up, and good, Eric Dixon. Dixon looks like he goes up strong and lays the ball in the good basket. Good, good, good. Taken away from him by Dixon, knocked the ball to the backcourt. Dixon, great dive, great hustle play by Eric Dixon. Up and good, best game so far, Dixon. He looks really yes. good with the ball. Eric Dixon is evolving as a player and a young man. The moves from high school look familiar, but the man he's becoming only slightly resembles the kid who chose Villanova. There are 351 colleges in Division I men's basketball program, but for me, one very clearly stands out above all the others, and I can't imagine to another program. I'm beyond thankful and excited to be here today with all of you as I announce my commitment to you, Villanova University. Go, 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 Cats. The journey to Villanova from Willow Grove and Abington High School was a short one, but for a young man who's played with USA Basketball overseas in France, the world is expanding every day. First time ever going out of the country, so that was something new. It was definitely a hostile environment, <laughs> a different game. It was great, it was honestly great. Physical, tough, great learning experience. 19 hour travel day though, I could do without. But Eric has bought in to the really difficult things that test who you are. You know, after you go through a registered year and you battle with the guys every single day and you're with them every single day and you do everything they do, you know, except for on game days, you know, and you're beating them up all the time in practice and, you know, they're getting mad at you, you know, for setting hard screens and illegal box outs. You know, it's good to be able to get out there for them and be that physical guy and hit some other people around in, in other uniforms and, you know, get, get my own teammates hyped and excited during the game, uh, you know, with physical plays like that. Beat them to the spot with your back to the baseline. Back baseline. You understand? Beat them here. Don't, if they're setting a low cross, the reason they're setting it is to get them here. So don't wait to see where he goes. You hear I never try to look too big picture, too far ahead, and I never try to get too caught up in the past. I always try to keep it present time. So, you know, for the day, I'm trying to get better at finishing my right hand, and that's what I'm working on. And if I get that done, then I feel good about it. But if I'm working on jump shooting or defense, if I get either two of those things done, I feel good about it. So I just take it, you know, day by day, go by go, really try not to look too far ahead, you know, at all. Hey, hey, when you pivot, step, like, don't just step, step in a direction that path, put something on it. In our program, we want all of our players to become complete, to be able to do everything. So it's mostly difficult for a big guy. And Eric is on, on a great path. But when that big guy gets it and he gets complete in all those areas, th then you've got a hell of a player. And, and you can look back at our great teams, you know, with Omari Spell Spellman and Daniel Achefu and Dante Cunningham and, and Brooke Sales, all, when those guys get it at that position, you've got something really special. And we think Eric is definitely on that path. That's a good job, E. That's a good job. That's a good job. E. Now, that, that was a good job. He can't go by you right now in a game. Let's see if you can do this. If you get a smaller guy on you, make it like a game. He gives it up, deny him. He got you on a back cut, it's on me. You got you? But, but, but you're going to do something that's going to help you in a game. You understand? His evolution is, is understanding how to play Villanova basketball for 40 minutes, every possession. When you come here, you think you're playing hard, and then you realize, oh, wow, when I thought I was playing hard, you're not really. That, that's something that I had to learn as a, as a player. Being in those big time games, playing the Final Four, Sweet 16, now I realize what it actually takes to play hard. Not what you think is playing hard, but our expectations of playing hard. And Eric Dixon is, is starting to realize that, well, wow, I, now that I see why you guys were on me last year and the year before, especially when I redshirted, uh, you guys are treating me like it was a, a game day, but but we're trying to prepare you for these these moments. I push him personally. I take it as my mission to push him to be better every day. He's self-driven himself. Nobody sees it, but he works extremely hard on um, you know staying in shape, uh, changing his body. He's been working hard like that for the past three years. Um, you know, and I mean countless hours in the gym when after practices he comes back late at night he's shooting extra he's working extra he's, he's running extra he's trying to be in top shape when i came in i was around 280 around 255 250 now uh, 
I feel more chiseled, more in shape, but that's another thing that like, I'm always battling. You know, whenever they put me on the floor, wherever they trust me they, to pass me the ball or trust me to get a stop, whatever the case may be, they put a lot of faith into me and I wanted to be, you know, reciprocated. So I come in and I work all the time. And it's just ingrained in me. It's what I do. So for me not to exercise the gifts to the highest ability that I can, whether it be working out, uh, you know, doing homework, reading books, taking advantage of this little more academic opportunity as well, I just feel like I'm not doing what I should be. We're, we're really excited about where Eric Dixon is right now. He's at a point where he can compete with the best bigs in the country, and yet he's only scratched the surface of his potential. Uh, he, he's really intelligent, very insightful, off the court, a pensive, peaceful man. He's learning on the court how to develop some uh, healthy rage and, and aggressiveness. In between the lines, you just gotta be a different person. You know, off the court, I can be as quiet and thoughtful as I'd like to be. But in between the lines, quiet and thoughtful really isn't that great of a mix. So, you know, I just try to be fiery, aggressive, and, and make decisions quickly. Like, whatever the decision may be, even if it's not always the best one, just make it, and just make it hard, make it aggressive, and everything else will follow. He's got the, the natural competitiveness. He's got he's to learn uh, to, to bring that with a consistent uh, level every possession, and that, that's where he's really starting to improve. That's something I always think about when I'm in the lines, and that's definitely the switch that I uh, flip when I get out there.